Good morning. Today we have purple glasses. Uh, if you didn't notice, they do come from the dollar store. I was reading and I could see better with them. Anyway, here we go. Um, today's Friday. I woke up this morning. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Um, feeling good as normal, always in a good mood. Thank you, Lord, for the, the attitude. You know, I have to thank him for that because I could be mean. Mm, yeah, I could be mean, but I'm not. I'm sweet. Okay, so uh, as I last discussed, you know, found out about the cancer, spread it and everything. Found my oncologist, Dr. Foote. And so I started, um, I had to get a, a, a um, implant here. It's called a port. And this port, what it does is because if they were to stick you in your veins all the time, your veins could not handle the the medicine. It couldn't handle all the pressure that goes on for the amount of time. Because, see, chemos are, could be, it could be seven days a week for a month. You know, you never know what the, um, the uh, sessions are for that. Mine was twice a week. And I started... Right after I got my port was near the end of September, and, it, and the chemo session ended in December, the end of December. Boy, was I happy. But um, so after I got my port, they started like three days later. I was like, you know, they have to go in and operate and hook that little thing up in you. And I'm like, y'all want to stick me in that? And it just got operated on it like, it's not going to, it's okay. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm already hurting, got stitches and stuff going on here. Y'all want to stick me? But anyway, guess what? I let them stick me. <laughs> and it hurt just a little bit. But I'm that type. You know, like I say, I'm proactive. And I know they had to do it. So guess what? I sucked it up. I held my breath. And I just kept on going. I always try to be the best patient. Because I don't want to be a, a bad patient. And then they got control in their hands over my body. And they do something to really hurt me. So I always try to be a good patient. It's kind of like when you go to the restaurant. And you complain about your food. And you worry about what the, what the cook going to do to your food. Mm, that's me when it comes to doctors and things. So. Uh, got the port put in. We started chemo at the end of uh, September. Chemo um, lasted like an hour. That was the chemo. Before they did the chemo, they have to prep you for it. They would give me Benadryl, um, which would prevent anything that if I was allergic to the medicine. And then they would give me something to help nausea. And um, they would do that, and that dripped about 15 minutes, and then they would put the um, uh, medication, bring it. It was a little clear medication in a bag, and it would drip, and it dripped for an hour. And so once that was over, hey, go home, you know. The first time, you know, you don't know what to expect. You know, you're really, am I allergic to this? What is it going to do to me? How am I going to feel? So many questions go through your mind the first time they put this drug into you. So that, that went on with me. And I was back in the back of my mind. Oh, Lord, please don't let this here uh, stuff do this. Please, Lord, don't let me be alert. I was just praying my butt off. But I made it through. And I was like, one down. I think I had like 16 more to go or something. And uh, so I made it through. After the first one, what I did was I did a little playlist. So when I go, I have something you know, to do, because some of the people are really sick, they don't want to hear me all happy, and they're not feeling good, you know, because I'd be running my mouth, trying to, you know, ease myself, trying to calm myself, trying to make sure I'm not overexcited and things, and I, and I all, I, that's what I do, you know, I talk and laugh, so I said, well, I created a playlist, and my first song, every time I listened to it, was I Need You, okay, and wow, that, if I tell you, listening to my music, got me through and I couldn't sing of course you know out loud but I sure was praising with my hands okay that went on so everything went fine I didn't get sick I didn't have to be put into the hospital you know my blood count which they take every time you go they want to do a white blood count and check it to make sure that it's not too low for the chemo uh, all everything went well my blood work was always good Every time, never, praise God, never did I have any complications going through that chemo. And when the end came, and I got to ring that 
fail. I was so happy. I made it through. That's how I looked at it. I made it through that storm. You know how life brings those storms? And when you come out, you are so happy. When it's over, you're just so happy. And you say, I made it through. And that's how I felt. I made it through that storm. God got me through. Thank you, Jesus. I made it through. And so then after you go through these sessions of taking the chemo, they have to go back and they have to do CT scans or PET scans to see see how the cancer was affected by the drugs okay so um when i had all that done my uh, tumor markers which is something they take and they would check every time they check my blood started out one of them started out at 387 okay mine's got down to 37 which was two points above the normal range the other one started out as 25 point something it got down to 2.8 okay which was within the normal range for tumor markers the tumor markers kind of let the doctor know all cancers don't create tumor markers but mine did Praise God. So they was able to kind of monitor and, and see how things were going on. So then we did the CT scan. And um, my liver, the cancer in it has shrunk. It went from nine, <clears throat> excuse me, nine centimeters down to six. Some of the spine and the spine you know was scattered about and like I said, he was more concerned with the liver because you know you only have one liver and your liver you need your liver to live with. So he was more concerned about the liver. The spine just, you know, they were there. Some of them shrunk a little bit. But like I said, when the cancer spread, it does, it's not curable, you know. So you may be looking at a miracle. I don't know. We'll see, huh? But um, all my things came back. So we ended the um, no more chemo. But I had to go see him. Every two months, he gave me um, a hormone to take because my receptors were positive, which means a hormone could help prevent the cancer from growing. And it was letrozole. And I took letrozole every day, and I go see him every three months. And so everything was looking good. But I was really concerned about my spine. And I kept asking him and asking. You know, I'm like... You know, what about the spine? Do I need to go see a doctor to take care of the spine? And I kept asking. So now we're into 2016. So I kept asking and then time went on, time went on. And I was just concerned. So I did well. And 2017 came up, still everything looking good. And I was still concerned about my spine. I didn't have any pain or anything um, every day or severe, but I was concerned. So I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and do it myself. By the time 2017 came, mm, I decided to do it myself. So I'll get back with you on 2017. So here we started out 2012 with breast cancer. Here we... Uh, Got it taken care of. It came back in 2015. Uh, did the chemo. Cancer was controlled. Wasn't growing. 2015 ended. 2016 still looking good. But 2017, I got concerned about my spine. And I decided to be proactive in my health. So, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Jesus is good. Have a great day. Bye.